Hey Jammers, this time I'll be explaining how I earn so many sapphires. I'm expecting you to have watched my previous video on how to start playing Animal Jam first, because this video will be assuming that you already have a shop and maybe even a membership. But if you haven't seen that video yet, there'll be a little thing popping up right now in the corner. You can press that and go watch it. And now onto the video. If you want to get right into it, go to this timestamp on screen, but first, here's a little kind of introduction to the video. When it comes to Animal Jam, time is money. So if you don't have much time to play the game, spend your time wisely if you want to earn sapphires. Or maybe don't focus on earning sapphires, because really they're just pixels and the friendships you build with people in the game can be worth a lot more than that. Do what you enjoy and have fun playing the game. This is just how I play it. I have fun seeing the little number at the top of my screen go up. I earn anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 sapphires a day, give or take a little because I give away a lot. There are three steps that I followed to get me to this point. Work, sell, and invest. In this video, I'll go into detail on these three steps to show you how you can earn sapphires too. Step one is work. Collect paint seeds regularly and fight phantoms in Appendale. You can earn hundreds of sapphires an hour just from phantoms and nocturnal animals alone. And that's not even taking into account the items you earn from the phantoms. At the least, most items you earn can be sold for 5 sapphires each, or just recycled for gems if they're not worth anything. But more often than not, you get items worth anywhere from 30 to 250 sapphires. If you're lucky, you can even earn alphas worth anywhere from 1,000 to over 300,000 sapphires. Not kidding. Another way to earn sapphires is pack runs. You can sell the items you get from completing goals, and you can get items from the chests hidden throughout the maps. The chests even give you alphas sometimes. Another way is recently Animal Jam added the Treasure Hunter minigame. With the higher difficulties, you can easily get good items and blueprints you can sell, even alphas sometimes. And these are just the things that you can do year round. Animal Jam is always adding new ways you can earn sapphires. Like when the Light Accelerator minigame was here, you could easily earn lots of light side and dark side points, buy lots of light side and dark side chests, and you could instantly sell them for like 250 sapphires each. That's 1000 sapphires for every 4 chests you earn. Or you could take a gamble and open them, and maybe you'd get something really good, but you're more likely to get something bad that you could sell for like 20 sapphires. What I'm saying is don't gamble on things like that, just sell them. Speaking of selling, step 2 is sell. When you're selling an item, Make sure you're selling it cheaper than anything else in the shop explorer, because then it'll sell fast and easily, and when you're advertising, you can say your items are the cheapest on the explorer. If the item you want to sell isn't on the explorer, look on the Animal Jam item worth wiki and see how much it's worth, and price it based on that. If your item is worth more than 5,000 sapphires, you can trade it for items that are worth- for multiple items worth 5,000 sapphires or less, whatever you want to do, or you could risk trusting someone with buying it for more than 5,000 sapphires. Here's a little tip for more experienced players, you can skip ahead if you don't want to bother with this, but since you can't change dens while you have items on the shop explorer, what I do is sell items on a different account. I use, you know my account, YXMall. It's easy to do if you have two devices or if you play Animal Jam on Windows. You can download Animal Jam from the website, Steam, and any emulators you trust. I use Bluestacks. With these, I can play from three accounts at once on one device. Sometimes I use this to fight phantoms on two to three accounts at once, so you can double or triple your profits from phantoms when you do this. And it's great when the phantom gives out an alpha because then you get like three of them and a higher chance of getting the best color. Step three is invest. Once you've repeated the first steps enough times, you'll start to slowly, steadily gain sapphires. I recommend using these first sapphires to invest in things that will make a profit. One of my favorite things is paint seed trees. You can buy them for 100 sapphires each. Once you have more paint seeds, you can fight more phantoms and for way longer. Another thing is pet sitter pros. They don't just save you time, you profit from them. Because expeditions for level 5 and higher can come back from expeditions with exotic DNA vials, which can be sold from 20 to 70 sapphires. And sometimes you get a sparkly DNA, which is more like 750 to 1000 sapphires. And you can get alphas from expeditions. What I'm saying is, pet sitter pros are good if you have lots of pets. Speaking of pets, another thing you can invest in for some extra sapphires is pets. At the end of every month, 
one goes on sale for like 35 sapphires instead of 50. This is when I buy 10 of them and I level them up and then send them off on a few expeditions and then I sell them. By then, with the pet being out of store and leveled up, they sell for like 100 sapphires instead of 35. I also recommend getting multiple Jamalade gifting trees or friendship gifting boxes while they're in season because jammers can be really nice and they, and they give you things that are worth more than the 50 sapphires you spent on the gifting box or tree. Once you do these three steps long enough and get into a routine, you won't even have to fight phantoms often anymore so you'll just be naturally earning plenty of sapphires with the items you already have. So yeah, that was the three steps that I use. I hope this tutorial could help you in some way and if not, just have fun playing the game. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.